Hi guys, it's John from Bright Water Gaming, and just another video here as part of my series where I'm painting my Dickensians gang for the game Twisted, a steampunk skirmish game. Um, so today we're going to be painting up the uh, Blood Rage Urkin and the Urkin Alchemancer. So these two have been a real hoot to, to, to paint, although it's taken me quite a while to, to get this all together. Uh, I'm going to switch up the videos a little bit today and what I'm going to do is essentially only spend a short amount of time on the, on the, on the base coating, four seconds per, per, per slide and that so that you can uh, just pause the video, have a look, see what I did, but I'm not going to talk through in detail what I did and essentially we're going to get up to the stage where I've applied the wash on in which is around about here and then we're going to go into how I've done the highlighting. So I've um, decided that I'm going to record this all in, in, in and uh, show you the video of me doing this. So this is ultramarine blue and imperial blue. Essentially what I'm doing is I am getting the initial highlight on with the ultramarine blue, which is quite a lot brighter than the initial blues I've used. And then I'm knocking that back with the imperial blue just to, uh, to get that uh, uh, sort of a a cleaner blend between the two. Um, what I've done is so I've just videoed this, I've just played it at double speed, just trying this out as a slightly different format to what I've done before and, uh, and clearly if you guys like it, wonderful, let me know. Uh, if it doesn't work for you then uh, then uh, then please say so and I can always go back to, to how I was doing it before with the videos. But uh, I figured it was, a, it was a bit more active and interesting to watch than just a series of series of photos. So that's the uh, the blues just about done there on him. Essentially, I did exactly the same across on the uh, on the uh, other model, just because essentially they're wearing the same clothes, they're the same model. Right. So what we're doing now is just applying a little bit of uh, trying to get a little bit of glow effect onto the um, onto the various bottles, just to show that they're made out of glass and uh, and they've got a bit of a shine on them. So I'm just starting off just by painting a really uh, thin layer of this green on there just to, uh, to start to build up that highlight. What I'll do uh, later on is, um, is then build up with a livery green and then finally with a, um, uh, with a, uh, uh, with a flat white just to, for that sort of final highlight. So this is the uh, livery green going on. The nice thing about livery is that it's uh, it's not super heavily pigmented. So it, it especially if you water it down, it, it essentially adapts to whichever color it is you're painting it on. So painting it over a green, it will give you a green hue. Painting it over a, a, a yellow gives you slightly more sort of toxic uh, look to it. But this, I think, has worked really well uh, just to get that sort of slightly chemically looking vile look on the, uh, on the uh, um, various potion bottles that he's got. I thought um, for this one, I'm just doing it on the, uh, on the Blood Rage Urkin. But uh, yeah, as I said before, essentially they're the uh, same modeling game. It's just one's the Incredible Hulk version of the other. Right, moving on to yellows. Um, this is just a nice bright sun yellow. Um, it's essentially the uh, the same colour that I started with, but, but but because the Agrax kind of knocked that back quite far, I thought I'd just highlight straight with this. Um, and it uh, again because because yellow doesn't cover particularly well, you essentially have to it gives you lots of time to, to go over and over and over again um, to uh, to to get some depth in your in your colour. But. Uh, I'm really pleased with uh, how this guy's starting to shape up. So moving on to the reds, I've essentially gone back with the original red which I used and then I've used a, a hot orange as a, as a highlight on the extremity. So this first stage is just going over the red, catching all the, all the high spots and, uh, and uh, just bringing them back from, from, uh, from where they've been uh, washed down by the uh, Agrax Earth shade, so it's a nice quick phase, uh, just going over, catching all the sort of the, the main flat spots and 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 highlight areas to be highlighted, and then uh, and then on the extreme points. So where the because the nice thing about this paint is it's it's a little got a little bit of a glossy finish to it. Um, is that uh, 
you then hold it in the light and it shows you exactly where you need to apply all the orange which is quite nice so uh, in a second I'll be switching over to the orange and then highlighting that and uh, again using really watery paints it just uh, it, you can let the paint do the work for you and uh, it just blends it all together on your behalf so uh, it makes makes your life easy So this is the finished result. Um, I've been really pleased with how these guys came out. I think I, uh, I struggled a little bit with uh, trying to get the colours right, um, but uh, I asked the, the very helpful and friendly uh, Facebook group uh, for this game, which is uh, which is online, uh, and asked a bit of advice, and uh, and uh, it was really. Uh, pleased with how they came back and gave me a bit of inspiration. Um, so I'm really pleased with how the uh, how the colours have worked on this. I think it's worked out really well. Um, these models are absolutely ace. Um, I just can't say it enough. They are so much fun to paint, and uh, and again, it's just pushing me to uh, to try new things and, and get better results. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, comment on how I can make these things better. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.